Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today I'm gonna be showing you how I make my beef barbecue ribs in the oven. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so right now I'm starting off with my washed ribs and I'm just going in and trimming off um, any excess fat that we have on here. You don't have to do this step, but I would recommend it. Um, you don't want to be biting into like pockets of fat, so trim off as much as you can. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how I remove this back part on the rib, um, which is called the silver skin. This step is really important if you want a tender rib. Um, you just want to start at the corner and just tug it, tug at it, pull at it, do whatever you can to get it off. Sometimes it's easy, it'll come off in one swipe, but you, as you can see, I'm putting a lot of effort in it. Um, you just want to get this off of here. Alright, so I'm just going to do the same thing with these smaller ribs. We're just going to take that silver skin off of these. Okay, so this is that first piece that I was working with. I'm just going in and cutting these up into pieces um, so they can fit better in my pan. And I did go back and trim off more fat. These were really fatty, so I had to go put in some extra work. <laughs> Okay, so now we can move on to seasoning. I just have a bunch of spices. You can season your ribs however you would like. I'm also gonna use some brown sugar. I didn't measure, I just eyeballed it. So, and we wanna combine these two together and mix them in really good. Okay, so I did go in with my hand and try to break up some of that brown sugar because I did have it in the fridge, so it was kind of hard. So now we just want to sprinkle this seasoning all over these ribs. I use that whole thing of seasoning. Y'all know I like my food well seasoned, so yeah, this was, this was enough for me. Now I'm going in with some olive oil. Some regular salt and parsley and we want to just rub these things down y'all you really need to get in there I don't know why I was using one hand but you need to get in there and rub the seasoning all over these things they need to be completely covered with this seasoning We want to make sure we have the front, the back, the sides. Every piece of this meat needs to be covered with seasoning. Alright, so once we have these all seasoned, I'm going to let mine marinate overnight. You don't have to do this 24 hours. You can do it for about 30 minutes to an hour if you would like, but I'm going to leave mine overnight. Okay, 
okay so it's the next day and i'm just um, placing the ribs on my baking pan my oven is at 275 so it's ready to go i'm just going to position these on the pan making sure they have enough room okay and any like juice that you have left over you can go ahead and pour it over the top and just rub it in a bit now I'm just kind of creating like a pocket for these and we're just gonna um, place some foil over the top okay you want to make sure everything is in there nice and tight and we're gonna bake these on 275 for about three and a half hours been about three and a half hours we're gonna take them out this is what they're looking like they're looking kind of crazy <laughs> but we're about to add our barbecue sauce I'm using sweet baby ray you can use whatever kind you like you can make your sauce do whatever you want to do I'm using sweet baby ray oh right here I'm just checking for tenderness So now we just want to spread this sauce all over these ribs. Um, I know it's not a lot of sauce. I don't like my ribs too saucy, but I am going to do two layers. This is the first layer. So after we get the sauce all spread it out, we want to put these in the oven um, for about 15 minutes. So this is them out of the oven after 15 minutes. Now we're going to go in with our second layer of sauce. Look at my hand. Y'all, I don't even know how I got barbecue sauce on my hand. Excuse me. <laughs> so we just want to repeat the step we just did, like spread the sauce all over. Then we're going to place these in the oven and let them brawl on high for about 7 to 8 minutes uncovered okay so this is the finished product you guys this is about eight minutes of them broiling on high absolutely beautiful these were so good and tender you guys they came out perfect so that's the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed this um it really wasn't quick i will suggest doing this early in the morning but yeah other than that it was the business i hope you guys enjoyed this video please remember to like comment subscribe and share and i will see y'all on my next one bye